Donald Trump hitting the campaign trail one day after a new charge was filed against him in that classified document. Yeah, case. some big developments here, Janae. The former president saying nothing's going to stop his latest bid for the presidency, not even an indictment or a conviction. ABC's Rachel Scott is in Des Moines with more on how Trump is responding and how other candidates are reacting to the charges. Rachel, good morning. Wait, good morning to you. Two indictments, a new round of federal charges, and Donald Trump is still the clear frontrunner in this race. But the former president faces an extraordinary challenge in the coming months, pushing forward with his campaign while also fending off multiple investigations. President Donald J. Trump. This morning, Donald Trump back out on the campaign trail in Iowa, vowing to stay in the race as he faces new federal charges. I will fight for Iowa like no one else is going to fight. The former president now charged with not only mishandling classified documents, but trying to destroy surveillance footage to obstruct the investigation. That video has long been crucial to the special counsel's case. When prosecutors traveled to Mar-a-Lago last year to recover those sensitive documents, they spotted a surveillance camera outside the storage room. But when the Justice Department issued a subpoena for the material, prosecutors say Trump schemed with his staff to destroy it. Their alleged plan ultimately failed. Prosecutors got their hands on that evidence anyway, showing boxes being moved in and out, allegedly at the request of Trump. The former president has pleaded not guilty. His trial set to overlap with the Republican primaries. They've weaponized the Justice Department and the FBI. Trump crossing paths with 12 of his rivals in Iowa this weekend, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Does Trump best represent the future of the Republican Party, or, or is this all a distraction? If the election becomes a referendum on what document was left by the toilet at Mar-a-Lago, we are not going to win. We got to focus on what the people are looking for in terms of their futures. And so I just think in 2024, we won't, we can't have distractions. We've got to focus our eyes on the prize. Few candidates in that crowded field willing to go after the former president directly. The one that did boot off the stage. Donald Trump is running to stay out of prison. And if we elect, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, listen, I know the truth. The truth is hard. Will Hurd shrugging that reaction off. Nobly by Trump's side at this campaign event, his co-defendant and close aide, Walt Nada, who prosecutors allege conspired with the former president in a push to try to destroy that video evidence. As for Trump, well, he's back on the campaign trail in Pennsylvania at a rally later today. Wit. All right, Rachel, thanks so much. Let's bring in ABC News executive editorial producer John Santucci, who's been covering Donald Trump since he announced his first run for president. John, good morning. It's always great to have you in the morning, studio man. here. So we have to remind our viewers here that former President Donald Trump is at the center of four separate investigations. Yeah. But we're learning that indictments could be on the way soon in two of those. Where do those stand now? So remember, the special counsel has two cases. So the case that we just talked about with Rachel is the documents case. The other case is Jan. January 6th, the efforts by Trump and his allies to overturn the election. And, you know, the special counsel in some ways has been a good guy at what they're doing with because just follow the history of what they've done so far. So if you look at the documents case, Trump's lawyers went in for a meeting. Four days later, the former president was indicted. In the January 6th probe, this past Thursday, they had that meeting in Washington that we saw that car speed into the special counsel's office. So if you're trying to compare the tea leaves of the two, that was Thursday. Take the weekends off your list. Sometime this week, it seems as though we could be in the hot zone for a January 6th indictment in the special counsel's case. Now, not to confuse our folks, but from federal, let's go state, down to Fulton County, Georgia. That is a probe that was launched about Trump, Rudy Giuliani, and others' efforts to overturn the Georgia elections. Remember that perfect phone call, fellas, I need 11,000 votes? That's the center of the case there. Public statements alone, the DA, Fannie Willis, has said, August-ish is when I'm looking to make an indictment. We know that a grand jury's been seated. We know that they're getting ready to make a presentation. And that case, not too surprising what's coming because a special grand jury produced a report. And in that report, they said, we recommend indictments 
don't know who, but obviously a key focus there, Trump and the others that were physically in Georgia with. So as we wait to learn about potential indictments in those cases, mm -hmm. former President Trump says publicly this doesn't impact him or his campaign for president. But privately, you're learning from your sources that there is some concern within Trump's orbit. Uh, wait, uh, the one thing that I hear consistently we need to figure out what day it is because we don't know where we're going to be. It's almost like, you know, let's pretend you're like married. We both are, right? You have two calendars with your spouses. Donald Trump has two calendars. He's got his campaign calendar. He's got his indictment calendar. They're literally trying to figure out where he's going to be that he doesn't have to show up at a courthouse. The other big problem I hear right now is lawyers. They need multiple lawyers. Look again, let's talk about the documents case for a second. That got delayed on an arraignment because they needed lawyers that were licensed in the state of Florida. They were thinking this was a DC case. We all got surprised about a grand jury there. They are literally building out a legal team in different time zones around the country trying to face what's coming. Now, four cases likely to be four trials as mm -hmm. well, all during a campaign year. John Santucci, so great to have you Thanks, this morning. We appreciate, appreciate it. it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.